Speaking with Senator Steve Daines, we're here at the uh, Montana Logging Association meeting at the Holiday Inn. Now, what kind of things will you be covering in this particular meeting with these folks? And I, I know that as a congressman, you you dealt with them, and now that you're a senator, how have how has that relationship changed, or has it? Well. The federal government's doing a terrible job of managing our national forests. So that'll be the, the most important topic I'll address today, the need to reform uh, timber practices and really bring back healthy forest management practices. I was out at uh, Tricon, uh, St. Regis, recently, and they're bringing logs in from over 600 miles away. And you're sitting there having a meeting at the mill, surrounded by thousands of acres of good timber, and we can't even harvest it. That's a tragedy. So we'll be talking about the need for reforms, common sense reforms that allows us to more effectively manage our national forests. We just talked with Mark Thane at the school district one here in Missoula. There are over a billion dollars worth of construction projects going on in Missoula right here in the next two years, and it all needs lumber. And, and I don't know where they're going to get it. Uh, so uh, w when you look at opportunities like that, hopefully one would think that in Washington that might unlock some doors. Well, it's a renewable resource. Let's not forget our forests are renewable resources. And we see them dying with beetle kill. And we have these extreme environmental groups who are filing lawsuits preventing us from timber harvests. And who loses when that happens? Well, first the taxpayer loses because oftentimes we're funding. We're funding those environmentalists in their lawsuits. Number two, we lose in terms of jobs and the taxes that are generated for our counties, for our schools, and our infrastructure. We lose from an environmental viewpoint. We have to breathe the air when uh, those forests burn in the summertime. And you know what? The, uh, the wildlife is, uh, uh, is improved. Habitats improve through responsible timber management practices. So, you know, it's a win, 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 win everywhere. The only folks that will lose if we reform these timber practices are the extreme environmental groups. And it's time that Montana started winning and these other groups started losing. So when you look in the eyeballs of these guys who are out there in front of you <clears> today, what kind of hope can you give them? Uh, as, as now that you're a senator and uh, you have more influence than perhaps you had before, how can you say to them? What will you say to them to say, "Let's hang in there"? Well, we we are working aggressively on legislation as we speak that uh, has moved through the House, and we're working to get a companion type bill in the Senate through that we would have on the president's desk by the end of the year. So it addresses some of these issues on wildfire funding. It addresses these issues on, uh, on the processes for approving um, timber harvest to streamline these environmental reviews. It will address the litigation issues we have. So there is hope, and uh, that's what we're fighting for right now. In fact, I just got an update from my staff last night. Uh, from the Energy and Resources Committee that there's progress being made and I'm looking forward to just continue to push that ball forward here uh, next week in Washington.